welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look they see you unbothered and they want to get you out your hookup <laughs> they see you unbothered and they want to get you out your hookup look it's people out here i talk about this all the time but the the energy that radiates off of you is like, it's very powerful. It's very strong. It's felt. Your presence is felt everywhere that you go. So there are some people out here who cannot stand your guts. They may not even know you. Nine times out of 10, they don't even know you. These people come across you for the first time. They can't figure out what it is about you. That's so special. You must be something special. You must be some type of celebrity. You must, like, it's something. They can't figure it out, and that's what triggers them the most. So it causes them to not like you. They see you unbothered. They see you in bliss. They see you carefree. They see you not bothering nobody. So they want you to be like them. A lot of these people, like you can't even take this stuff personal because these people got some stuff going on internally. They're not happy with themselves. They're not happy with their lives. Like, and they want you to be the same. It appears that you're happy. It appears that you're like, you're good. You're unbothered. It appears that nothing like really can get to you. So they want to see if that's true. They want to get you out your hookup. They want to see you turn up. They really do. They want to see you turn up so that they can confirm to themselves that that angel energy that you got radiating off of you ain't all what it's cracked up to be. It ain't all what it's cracked up to be. When they see you, not only are you looking good, but it's something about you that feels good. And for a lot of them people, it triggers the mess out of their demons. It really does. It triggers all of that nasty stuff that they got on the inside. All they can do is push it out. They don't have anything else to give, so don't take it personal. But people see you unbothered. They see you like doing stuff alone they see you not talking to nobody they want to get in your energy they want to get in your energy super bad we're not talking about the people who want to get in your energy because it feels good to them because they're um it's magnetic to them because um because they understand that it's a good thing we talking about the people who they see your energy they feel your energy they see your light they see the way that people are responding to you they see the way that you be getting free stuff they see the way that people compliment you they want that too you got some people who may see you for the first time and automatically they don't like you like automatically they want to start some drama with you automatically they want to see like what's up they want to get you out your hookup they want like you look like you ain't about no drama so they want to see if that's really true they like especially like somebody like me who's stereotyped um in the culture they want to see me turn up <laughs> they want to see you turn up they want to uh have little smart remarks they hear the people complimenting you they want to talk about how you know they want to throw little shady shots or they want to just like like people be on some other stuff i ain't gonna even lie to you you got some people out here who's truly jealous and envious of you. These people want to get you out your hookup. Even people who may not look like you, they, they're looking at you like, well, what makes you so good that you're doing this? Like, or what makes you so good that you're in this establishment? Or you like, they're looking at you like, what are you even doing here? Like, you're too, you're so young. How are you doing stuff? Because when they were so young, they wasn't doing stuff. Like, you got people out here judging you. They out here, um, they're jealous and they're envious of you. And they don't even know you. I'm telling you, it can be the first 30 seconds of them seeing you and they're turning their nose up at you. And it's not because, it, it, part of it is because of the way that you look, but it's mainly because of your energy. Your energy is felt. And they don't like it. They don't like it because they don't have that. They want it and they don't have that. They don't know how to tap into it. They don't know how to get it. All they know is who they are, who they have been. But you're you're something different. You are something that they have never experienced before. Like, they don't come across you every day. So when they come across you, they're trying to figure out what it is about you. They're trying to figure out what it is about you. So they're going to do any little thing to try to get your attention. You got some people who trying to be your friend, knowing that y'all are not the same. 
they trying to be your friend they trying to bring you down to their level <laughs> they want to bring you down to their level to make themselves feel good they want you to be like them they want to prove to themselves that you are like them that you are one of a kind that you are one of their kind but you're really not like they 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 try to bring you in and um it really it really don't feel good to them when you don't really feed into them like you may give them a little bit you may small talk for a little bit but you're not desperate like oh yeah like we should hang out we should go out we should do this i should get your number like no a lot of times you will small talk as far as they got something to say and you'll keep it pushing and they're trying to figure out like why you're not like everybody else why you not feeding into the into what they got to say? Like, why you not chuckling with them? Like, why you not doing what it is that they're doing? Why you not into the conversation that they want to have? It's a little odd. It's a little weird. But they're not realizing that you're the chosen one. <laughs> you're the chosen one. You're not about that life. Like, you didn't been there and done a lot of that stuff. And you recognize early on, you recognize quick, like, that ain't what you want. So you got a lot of people out here about that life and they see you unbothered. They see you unbothered. Their life is already half miserable and they want to see what they can do to get you out of your hookup. They want to see what they can do to get you out your hookup. They want to get you off of your path and they want to see what's, they want to see who you are at the core. They want to dig, dig, dig deep, but they don't know that you've been working on yourself. Okay. <laughs> you've been working on yourself. And you recognize, like, certain things don't even cause for a response. Certain things don't cause for a response. Like, certain things, and you may, like, like you really been working on yourself. So, you may feed into a little bit. But when you get some time to really think, when you get some time to sit down, when you get some time to quiet your mind, you recognize it ain't worth it. It's not even worth it. I'll give you, I'll give you a clear example. And this is just one of many okay um i was out i was out with someone and we went out to eat and immediately as we were walking up to the door it was a group of people uh, a family there was about 10 deep <laughs> it was a family they were coming like one by one three two four but we all were walking up to the door at the same time and instantly they started just mean mugging us like i mean you, we talking elders we talking babies like <laughs> men women everyone like they was on the same type of time but this is what i'm talking about when i'm talking about you are a product of your environment they all was on the same type of time and when i tell you i had on um, some shorts some baggy shorts some some shoes uh probably a t-shirt, uh, a sweater that is lightweight, a crop top. Like, first off, I wasn't even like dressed, okay? I wasn't even dressed. But these people, they felt our presence so strong and they couldn't figure it out. And they was trying to figure out who we are, what makes us so special. Like they literally mean mugged us. They was looking for any issue to say something and i kid you not by the time we were gone out of that restaurant oh they had something to say they had something to say they they made up an issue they took an issue they took something and made it an issue okay let's just say that they made up an issue they they made up a story in their head and you hear them you hear them talking like oh yeah like 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 they like they was ready they was ready for anything <laughs> they was they was a ttg train to go like they and i'm just like that's the part of i'll just say like the united states culture because it's uh many races that that do it the united states culture that i cannot stand like why are we making up stories why are we like just not liking people just because we see them like i don't know what it was but i can't make it up i really can't make it up like why these why people want to get you out your hookup like 
I mean, but I guess this is what I'm observing. Like, <laughs> this is what I'm observing on why these people, but I would really love to talk to these people. Like, what's up? Like, what is it? Like, why? And and it's all of this stuff that I'm saying. Like, I think that they're just, they're just so miserable within the inside. And they're just so embedded in their ways that they want to see you be like them. They want to, they want you to feed into their madness. Like, they see you so peaceful. They see you looking radiant. They see you looking different. They feel that energy coming off you. They see that glow around you. They see the way that people are responding to you. And it's different. And they've never had that. They've never experienced that. They've never seen nobody be like that. So, yeah. They 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 going they going to try you. They're going to try to get you out your hookup. But it's like you didn't work on yourself so much. A lot of that is the old you to even like respond to even like cuz it's like for what? It's like for what? You it's like you know you that feeding into certain people or conversations or you know hearing chuckles or little comments like what are you going to get out of responding to it besides what you see everybody else getting out of it, out of it? like what a miserable life like <laughs> But yeah, this is why I say like you are a product of your environment and you are who you hang around and this is why you like to stay solo. This is why you like a tight, close friend group. This is why you only got a couple of tight people that you really rock with like that. Like, yes, you spend time with your family. Yes, you may have a couple of associates and stuff like that, but you like to keep it tight. You like to keep it simple. You like to, because you will literally be out You'll literally be hanging with somebody who invited somebody else. And like, I've experienced this too. They got drama and now you're in their drama. And now they're associating with you. Like I literally seen, I literally was also in a situation where, I mean, of course this is a ton of situations, but these are the ones that we go through as chosen ones. I literally was in a situation where some people had some drama and because I was in a public establishment around these people who had some drama, that now they, they thought that I was with them. They thought that I was on their side. So now I'm getting mean bugs. I'm getting stares. I'm getting like, and they they ready to like, they ready to fight me because they thinking I'm with these people. Like, it's like, this is why people get charged like just from being around. Like you got to really watch who you allow in your energy who you allow in your space, who you allow in your radius. Like you got a big square around you and people shouldn't even be able to get close to you. People can't, it's people who can't call me. It's people who can't get close to me. It's people who I don't want to ever see again in life. It's like nothing, nothing personal towards them. It's for my own personal reasons. Like I don't want to become that I don't want that energy because energy is only transferred. I don't want that energy transferring to me and me becoming that person. I don't want that energy. I don't want to like, I don't want that energy to be all that I have to give. So, I mean, it, it really doesn't matter who it is. Like, and some people don't do it. Like you got some people you love that may do it and they don't do it on purpose. They just do it because it's who they know you or who they thought they knew you to be. Like, but you change so much constantly. They don't know you anymore. They don't know you anymore. So they they feel like they can still have those same type of low vibrational conversations, fake conversations with you, or they can talk about other people and gossip. But it's like more and more you're learning not to feed into that. And they, they still want to see because they're like, I know who you are. Like, what happened like you used to always like you used to feed into it like we used to like we used to kick it like we used to talk about people together like or whatever it is but you're not that person anymore like you're learning what makes you happy what what brings you joy and that type of stuff that type of stuff is really low vibrational so the more that your conscious rise the more that you steer away from that, the more that you go, that you value your peace, the more that you uh, value your long time. And this is why you don't fool with a lot of people. 
So if this video resonates, if it hit different, let me know how so in the comment section below. I see y'all with y'all badges. I see that y'all are members on this channel. Thank you so much to everyone who is a member on this channel. If you have not, go ahead, grab your membership badge. Stand out. It's a star. Stand out like the star that you are, okay? Because the chosen ones, we, we we like to stand out. And it's always just a few of us who really stands out. So if you're new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. That's all I have for this video. Stay spiritually you. Stay spiritually in tune. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.